Enter a world where one man lives in his own bubble. Where this man seems to think it's okay to just eat whatever you want at a seemingly understaffed diner. Enter Coltsploitation's Twilight Zone. No copyright on that one. Alright guys, so we're starting a new series on our Coltsploitation video channel page on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at all of the Twilight Zone episodes, hopefully right straight through, all the way from episode 1 to the end. Um, today we're taking a look at the first episode in the Twilight Zone series, which is called Where Is Everybody? Uh, this is a, an episode of the Twilight Zone where it was, you know, obviously it's a pilot, so it's trying to find itself a little bit. Um, it's um, it's definitely one of those episodes that uh, is not centered around horror so much as it is more of a science fiction approach to it. So sometimes Twilight Zone would, would kind of bounce back and forth as a anthology series. And it would bounce back and forth between horror, um, it would do science fiction, sometimes it would do fantasy elements, and uh, Where Is Everybody is pretty much straight out of uh, the science fiction camp and also something a little bit more to do with... Um, you know, science in general, not just the fiction part, but where science is heading, uh, especially in 1959 when this episode premiered. Um, certainly a lot more interested in, you know, our government and what we were doing as a governmental agency trying to figure out, you know, exactly what we were doing in science and uh, where we could use that in terms of military aspects. Um, in this episode, what we first see going on in Where Is Everybody is just a guy um, who finds himself um, kind of lost in this town that he doesn't know. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know his, what his name is, and he doesn't know what he used to do. So when we first meet him, he's kind of wandering around the town, figuring out what's going on, noticing that there's no one around. Uh, he goes into a diner, as I mentioned in the beginning of the, the episode, and um, he kind of just starts eating food in there seemingly thinking that there's just no one there, it's understaffed, uh, maybe there's a skeleton crew and no one's really responding to his calls for uh, service. Um, so he makes himself some food, he gets some food, he eats it, and then from there um, he kind of just progresses through the town and realizes that um, there's no one around and it doesn't seem like anybody is coming to you know, help him figure out who he is, even though he's uh, seemingly has amnesia, doesn't really realize anything about himself, except for the fact that he finds out later on that he is part of the military. Um, from there, he kind of makes it to a movie theater and, uh, for the most part, starts to go crazy. And, uh, you know, at that point, he's been, we, we kind of find out that he's been living for days without really seeing anybody um, and or being able to talk to anybody, and that kind of drives him mad. So um, at that point, towards the end of the episode, the signature Twilight Zone twist kicks in, and as a pilot episode, um, I think that's pretty good from uh, Where Is Everybody's perspective, that they, they actually were able to come up with a pretty good twist for this episode um, and really set the bar for, for uh, coming Twilight Zone episodes. Um, in this case, the we find out that the government is actually staging these sort of like um, things where like it's a it's a box where they have some sensory deprivation element where uh, soldiers would go in and then kind of try to stay as long as possible without going mad. Obviously, they would just sit in the box. They'd be fed through a tube. They would um, you know be able to excrete and all that stuff. Uh, the unpleasantries of human existence, I guess. Um, and they would be able to do all of that through this box. But what happens is the guy goes crazy, they pull him out of the box and they realize that he had a mental break uh, and kind of made up his own world within this uh, box so that he would have something to do while he was sitting in there and, you know, basically in a, a sensory deprivation element where he didn't really know what day it was, what time it was, what was going on. Uh, interesting... Um, element to this this episode especially because it does get a little bit intricate there with the technology especially for 1959 um, really interesting and it has been done before since Twilight Zone episodes um, based on the sensory deprivation element uh, you actually can see it in Stranger Things uh, which has used that to its advantage um, with Eleven who who uh, can 
you know, deprive herself of her senses and enter into the upside down. So, um, been used before and since, um, but it's a pretty interesting episode. It has a lot of cool things like Dutch camera angles that really, you know, help that element of surrealness through. Um, and I would say that for an opening pilot episode, this is really Twilight Zone hitting the ground running and figuring out what it wants to do right away. Um, you still do have Rod Serling uh, with that opening intro sequence about the Twilight Zone. Um, it hasn't really picked out the exact introduction that it would use in later episodes, but um, here it is, it is it, you know, they had that all set up right from the beginning, so really interesting episode, um, and uh, definitely one to check out to see where it all started and then, you know, how the anthology series progressed from there. Uh, hopefully, the next time on this episode, I'll be, or on this series, I mean, I'll be doing the second episode of the Twilight Zone series. Uh, we've got a lot to work through. There's uh, many, many episodes of the, the Twilight Zone, so uh, I hope to do them all at some point, but I'm juggling that in between other stuff that I do for Coldsploitation, so um, the episodes may be few and far between, but I will be getting to each and every episode at some point. It's a long-running series. Hopefully you'll stick with us. Hit that subscribe button. I know everybody hates to hear this uh, sort of the upkeep talk, but uh, please subscribe to us so you see more of our episodes. And check us out at coldsploitation.com. I'm going to go back into the Twilight Zone because that's where I'm most comfortable, and I'm going to take off this jacket. It's literally the only jacket I own, and it's my wedding jacket. So I don't know if my wife will like this.